Howdy guys, I'm back with more of The Witcher 2. Today I'm going to give Philippa the ingredients for Saskia's cure. You wanted to discuss something? Alright, I have all the ingredients needed to heal Saskia. Your turn, sorceress. I have all you need to cure Saskia. Let's get to work. Oh. Scoyatel, stand aside. Oh, it's just going to be this easy, really. Oh gosh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh gosh, this isn't going to go right. Oh, I love this music. This game has got some wonderful music. Oh gosh, no. Oh, this is like Pulp Fiction. Oh no, I can't. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. What did you just do? Oh, I'm like cringing, I'm cringing over here. I need to stop. Oh. Oh, no cures complete without a little bit of sorceress voodoo here. <laughs> I don't trust her. I don't trust her. What? Oh. Is she? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The kiss of life. My favorite type of magic. <laughs> Lesbomancy. <laughs> Lesbomancy. Oh my gosh. I love this game. I love dwarves. <laughs> Lesbomancy. <laughs> I like that kind of sorcery. <laughs> Give me what that list. What is your lesb name? Oh. Sen sen what do they call you? Saskia. Do you remember what happened? Poison. They poison me. What day is it? What of the battle? Henselt and his army. Calm yourself. You will have your battle yet. I shall go and announce that you're once again among the living. Oh. Do I owe you my life? And Philippa. Thank you, Geralt. I promise to return the favor. Have you succeeded in lifting the curse? Oh my No, gosh. but we're almost ready to try. Vandergrift's sword. It's one of the conveyors of the power. You should have taken it. It's scrap iron to me, a sword like any other. Oh, wow. The Scoyatel wouldn't let anyone but Philippa near you, and they wouldn't have let even her take your famous sword. I'll try to remove the curse soon. Why do you aid me? Oh my goodness, she is just straight to business. Okay, so I'm guessing... Um, gosh, I thought that, like, uh, Saskia would have, like, some weird mind control or something from Philippa, which, uh, I don't know, that might still be the case. I don't really completely know or understand Philippa and Saskia's, you know, relationship. I'm not saying it's a romantic one, even with the lo lesbomancy, but, um, Philippa is definitely controlling Saskia to some extent, and I just wondered... I don't know, is what she just did, what she just did, is that all it was? It was just a cure? I guess it was. I'm, I'm too suspicious. I have my reasons. Your ideals, I share them, and lifting curses is my profession. I, I honestly don't know. Um, your ideals, I don't, uh, I feel like I would like to share them, but, um, I mean... I, I kind of do feel that way, honestly. I, I I don't know if I'd want to say that, though. Yeah, I, I guess I do. I share her ideas. Let's say it's a question of ideals. I espouse the same ones you do. You may yet prove a revolutionary. <laughs> no, not bloodthirsty enough. Speaking of which, ever stop to wonder that all your commanders are natural-born killers? It has crossed my mind. The truth is... Many find peace far harder to bear than war. Can I ask you a personal question? Mm-hmm. How did you get caught up in this? It's the way I was raised. I should say it's how my father raised me. My mother died in childbirth. I knew my father, or at least bits and pieces of him. He was a little like you. Never wore out his welcome. <laughs> but he did succeed in teaching me two things. Honor and how to be free. My choice was to spit on those ideals, or to fight. Fair enough. I like her. Oh, so that is really just the end of it there. Oh gosh, I, 
I thought it would be a little bit more ridiculous or complicated, but it was really just a matter of giving her the ingredients. You can never tell with Witcher, you know, sometimes it's a matter of giving them the ingredients, sometimes the whole city's on fire. Um, okay, a matter of life and death. Um, yeah, and the Witcher gathered all the ingredients. He headed for Philippa Eilhart's house with them. That... It's just, it's just done. The quest is done now. <laughs> okay, easy enough. All right, so the next big thing, um, I guess I can just get the sword from Saskia. I guess the next big thing is to get the, oh, the Dunbanner standard, which I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know if this is going to be any different than the first playthrough. I assume it's going to be the same, but. Good luck, Witcher. We await your return. Oh, so she won't even let, like, give me her sword or... Oh. We await your return. Okay, so... Oh, hey, 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 I saw something tasty right there. Give me that. Okay, I guess I have to go to the catacombs and deal with that. Um, hmm. Okay, really, that's, that's just really it. That <laughs> I thought it would be a little bit more complicated for some reason. Okay, so I am going to go do Death Symbolized. I'm actually, like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to be any different than, um, than, like, the first playthrough. So I, my first playthrough, so I might Don't end up anything. just, uh, running through a lot of it off camera or something. So I'll be back when something interesting is happening. Out of Rivia, I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner, the best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. Okay, so I uh, uh, missed part of his line there in the recording. As soon as I opened the door, he started talking. Sorry. So last time, I think I, I fibbed and I said I served in the banner. And uh, don't think he's going to believe me this time. Let's... let's uh, or, or should I say something? Let's let's be a little funny. I served in the banner. You may not remember me, but I remember you. <laughs> Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. <laughs> Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. And the Talus leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? Uh, okay, so it was. I don't recall. Die. Oh, yeah, I just like kind of BS'd my way through this. You really don't remember me, old uh, chicken nose here? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's see. Um, so what, what happens if I say I don't recall? Will he get mad at me? I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember. You lie. You are not oh. of the Dun Banner, and you must die. Oh, <laughs> that—that's kill the wraith or deceive it. Oh, okay, so that—that's what happens. No, nothing exciting. You can't. Uh... Oh, I, I meant to Ignium. I forgot I still had Art on. Okay, I thought it Guess might. Guess I'll never learn. Guess I—I I thought it—I thought it might have been a little bit more fun to see if he'd just like get really mad at me. Everyone's quick to go on the aggressive in this game. It feels like. Look at this poor sap here. He can't even get a swing in. Gosh, the Dun Banner suck. <laughs> all right, all right. Killed that guy. I didn't deceive him this time, but it's my non-canon playthrough. <laughs> all right, so I've got death symbolized. It seems that I need to go talk to Philippa now. I'll be back. All right, time to talk to Philippa. You wanted to discuss something. Again, I'm ready to lift the curse, I guess. <laughs> I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Get to work then, Witcher. I'll need your help. I need to find the right ghosts, somehow. They will find you. The aura of the artifacts will lure them. Let them think, speak, and act. Then you'll know what to do. Geralt, there is something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It has changed. A drog. I expected as much. Good luck, Witcher. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Take part in the ghostly battle in the mist. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I can't wait to do this again. <laughs> um, okay, so I I'm guessing the battle will also be very very similar to um, the um, to the Roche path kind of how the uh, catacombs part was the same and yes I still cannot find my way around this horrible horrible town I have to look at the map every literally every three steps it's I'd like to say it's getting better but it's it's not <laughs> all right so always in a hurry you'll have a stroke <laughs> I'll have a stroke I don't know I feel like Geralt is immune to those all right, so I guess, it's, like I said, I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing, but I don't know, maybe a slightly different perspective since I'm on uh, the other side. I don't know. Gosh, I felt like this was a shorter run than it actually is. It seemed The mist seemed closer to Hinselt's camp than it does to Vergen. Maybe it is. I don't know. I think, let's see, is it down here that I have to go? Oh, no, no, no. Follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. I'm making things complicated for myself by not following the arrow. Alright, it seems kind of eerily calm right here. Usually there's like a few ghosts fighting over here. Greetings. Oh yeah, these guys have like not full what? health. Okay, so maybe they just got done fighting some ghosts or something. All right, into the mist another time. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. Oh! Failed the harpy contract. I am clearly heartbroken about that one. Ooh. Oh yeah, this part again. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'm guessing this is going it's to warm. be. A lovely autumn. I bet the fruit is plentiful. We won't be the ones picking it. You'll be picking enemy heads today. No reason to wait. Slaughter the cat when he must. Wait. Time's not right. Sometimes I forget what we're fighting for. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why don't them have end in Hensel's duel to settle things? Seriously. <laughs> My brother-in-law is from Kedwin. A decent fellow. Once I was at a market there. Quality goods, cheaper than our merchants too. Bloody hell, shut it! <laughs> Every Kedwin is a bastard. Do you know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Horse and seed! Atom! No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Alright. Seems mostly the Get same. Get them! Catch on the enemy standard! Alright. Oh gosh, alright, so take part in the ghostly battle and I need to defeat the standard bearer which and capture the standard which would be this ugly guy here. Gosh, you know, that's the, the, the sad thing about this is um, they do such a good job of making like the banter between the, the soldiers seem so realistic. Cause that's the thing when, you know, like people are in a war or something, it's like it's the darn like leaders that have the beef with one another. Not the common folk, but it's the common folk, folk that have to pay for it all, right? Really sucks. Oh, no, I'm the second vision or whatever here. The standards in enemy hands. We're sitting ducks here! You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. <laughs> Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands. This is such a cool part of the game. <laughs> like, it's... It's so weird, though. Okay, inform the commander of these. Take right. cover! They're shooting! Alright, they shoot and get down! <laughs> Alright, I gotta run, 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 run to the other side here and not get past blasted. My gosh. Oh, nope, there's the ass blasting. <laughs> Being impatient. I guess... Oh, oh, I thought I was behind this thing here. I guess not. 
Okay, I gotta time it a little bit better. Alright, there we go. And now I need to go and then wait. Oh, oh, whoops, I was trying to put my head out. Say shouting! He's one of ours! Yeah, dummy. <laughs> Banner sent me. We were ambushed. We can't hold. Weren't your scouts keenly watching the battlefield, Captain? Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was clear by day. Lady Glephysic scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hold. And you, Glevesy, I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, <laughs> I'll make a report too, and... I've finished talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle. My lords, to your battles. <laughs> oh my god. This is still so cool. This guy is... Like, the way they did this guy's voice... We enter the fray! Oh, it's just so booming and crazy sounding. He's like a tank rolling out. Drawing. Maybe you finished with me. But that doesn't mean I finished with you. <laughs> and here's... Oh. Here's where I turn back. <laughs> Oh, I love the music in this game. It really is wonderful. Oh, here we go. Sorcerer. How can we help you, Sabrina? My place at Hensel's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking Upper Edda. The balance of power in the north will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. It's cool watching this a second time, because I'm just trying to understand it a little bit better now that I've seen how all the events play out, but gosh, sorceresses are, sorceresses are still... That's all you've got! You're dying fast, like roaches under my boot! Is there a ten money to match? Sell Kirk of Gallic on this field. Oh gosh. Creepy. <laughs> Defeat the Kate Winnie Army's general. I gotta cut through all these guys first though. This is cool. But you know, like like I was saying before, I do I love the like like the banter between all the just the 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 soldiers because it's like a district. oh my gosh I need to roll it this guy chill out like cool. will you cool it cool it cool it cool it cool it my gosh it just keeps swinging there we go I couldn't get a swing in on him at all my turn there we go but gosh it's just like a reminder that these are just people trying to live their lives and they got roped up in this it's like some of them like the other side's merchants or, or related to them or you know, whatever else. Like, uh, like one of them said, maybe, maybe these kings should just be dueling instead of dragging a bunch of innocents into it, right? Isn't that always what happens, though? It's the the common folk that have to pay for the idiot, the their leader being an idiot, right? I feel bad for just everyone involved on both sides, really. It's just, it's just a sucky situation for everybody involved. I mean, some people have a choice in their involvement, but... Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go over here. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, in we go. Oh, gosh. Oh. 
physics. There we go. Alright. Um, not a lot going on over here. Oh, here we go. I love watching these get put together. This game is so cool. <laughs> there you go, Geralt. You look better with the nose. <laughs> Maybe not. The that one. I've long awaited this meeting. Leave, ghost. I'll not give up an opportunity to duel Van der Grift. He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave. This is a task for a witcher, not a knight. I do this solely for my men. Yes, you do. Run along, you little scamp. Alright, let me... Oh, I can't save. Well, better not screw it up, I guess. Um, Alright, you want to fight? <laughs> you want to fight? Stand oh gosh, I'm in the fire. Alright, I should calm down a little bit. Alright, let's, let's use some Igni. Oh, Igni works really well on him here. I'm just gonna... There we go, that's how we do it. <laughs> Easy as pie. Mercy. Oh, here's, here's Big Daddy now. You have failed me! Oh, shoot! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Your nightmare! Oh, that's too cliche. Come on, man. To be fair, he's not wrong. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm getting right destroyed. Okay, I've probably got to take this. Archers! Archers? No, not archers. Don't say archers. Alright, I gotta take this guy. A little bit more seriously, maybe? I don't know, I'm just... What the heck? I'm having a really rough time here for some reason. Alright, um... I... I don't think I'm properly pre Oh my gosh, I really don't think I'm properly prepared for this. I'm actually having a right difficult time. I... I've barely scratched him and he's running for me! Okay, 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 uh, good. This one. Ah! Ah, okay, use the space bar. Use that space bar. There we go. Let's use this. Alright, use that space bar. Roll away. Quit being an idiot. Okay. Alright, um... Ah! <laughs> Alright, I haven't... I didn't upgrade my shield sign. I've just put everything in Igni. I think... I think I'm getting ass blasted here. I think I need to come back with some potions on. Yeah, I'm just gonna let myself die here, I think, because this isn't gonna happen. I don't know why I'm really just struggling against him. I, I feel like this was so easy the first time. Oh, yeah. Like, this is, yeah, they, this, yeah. All right, I'm gonna come back a little bit better prepared, I think. Okay, whoops. I've been having a lot of rough attempts with this guy. I feel like he, he was like on super aggressive mode for like five attempts and then he was just super easy. Should have stayed at home, Vandegrift. Oh, you shut up. <laughs> First mages to die after such a victory. Gods, we can't fight such sorcery! The sorcerers hail unclean fire. We're doomed! Why are they doing this? As the prophecy says, then the time will come when sorceresses turn on men. Flaming balls rain from the sky, and destruction will be unleashed. What should we do? Wait here for death! I shall lead you as a shepherd leads his flock, safely from the dark abyss. <laughs> Not again. I hate when people depend on me. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> well, the worst of it's over anyway. Like I said, I had such a hard time with this fight. It, uh... It took me like five or six tries. I just, oh gosh, I was just really, really struggling with this for some reason. I, nothing in particular, I just don't know what I was doing, I guess. All right, easy enough. I think most of us are still here and not on fire. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Stop firing! Our men are dying! A massacre, save us, sire! Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, your majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning, they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, Lormark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. 
brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle was lost. You put me to shame before Demavend. His troops fought like men of honor should. To the end. Sabrina Glevesig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn at the stake. I will return to claim my birthright. And that's where everything went sideways. Ooh. July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't die there, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. <laughs> he had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. I'm up. Eyes look a little strange. <laughs> Face looks a little strange with the. Nose. You're finally awake. Am I dead or hallucinating? You wouldn't meet me in the beyond. <laughs> I don't remember coming here. Because you didn't. Don't forget, we sorceresses have our ways. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. In that case, thanks for your help. <laughs> You're too valuable to let die. You did the impossible. I don't know anyone who could deal with such a powerful curse. All right, you're right. Now, you tell me I'll be famous. I I almost want to say that. You know what? I'm going to say it. I'll be famous. I can't wait for people in every village to start recounting tales of my heroic deeds. You know it. Now, tell me everything that happened. <laughs> I have no idea and I saw everything. Oh, you know what? I'm she BSs me so much. I'm going to just BS her. I don't know. I have no idea. I can't remember. Either how I left the mist or what happened within. Passing through such a concentrated mass of the power opens the mind. Cedric was right. The power of the Wraith's battle restores memory. And what have you recalled? Letho, Voltest's murderer. I saved him once and he helped me find the wild hunt. I just don't know if we managed to save Yennefer. Did you learn anything else about the hunt? When I killed the King of the Hunt, I killed a wraith. In my memories, I fight the Hunt's riders. Blood flows from their wounds and they cry out in pain. Which means you do not yet know all. Not to worry. I will. You lifted the curse, but there's no time to rest. Hensult's army will attack at any moment. Okay, I had no other choice. Yeah, it seemed like I had no other choice. What about Saskia? How's Saskia feeling? Completely recovered. She can't wait to deal with Henselt. I bet. She'll personally command the defense of Vergen. She's in her element. A siege can't be her element if she never faced one. You underestimate her. Keep in mind she's got allies. A famous witcher. And me. Mm -hmm, you. <laughs> you. You. Okay, well, I had no other choice. Sorry. Perhaps I helped Henselt and put Edern in danger by lifting the curse. But I had no other choice. Sometimes you need to amputate the leg to save the body. Time to decide the outcome of this war. High time. Zoltan and Yarpen are setting up the troops. They're waiting for you. All right. Vergen besieged. Talked to Zoltan. All right. Let's, um... So is there anything... Let me see if there's anything else to say to this hateful... I'm busy. Oh, she's busy. All right. There's like a war outside, but, you know, by all means, you're busy. All right. All right, so Geralt awoke in Philippa Eilhart's quarters right in time. Hinsel's forces were approaching Vergen to besiege the town. There were precious few heroes who could tilt the battle in Saskia's favor around, so the Witcher had no other choice but to get out of bed and take matters in his own hands. Zoltan Chevet awaited him at the gate. All right, that's where I need to go. All right, and returning memories. Let's see. Um, I th 
I guess let me just read the whole thing. After ending his conversation with Shillard, Geralt experienced the vision of a journey, a trek across the world in pursuit of the wild hunt. Yet the hunt remained elusive all the while. The Witcher felt the bitterness of disappointment and defeat, but also staunch determination. He now realized just how much he had invested in the search for the woman abducted from the Isle of Avalash. Another vision came to him after Geralt defeated the Drog and passed out. The Witcher realized he had known all the Kingslayers earlier and had even saved Letho's life when the killer was poisoned by a manticore. In his vision, Geralt joined forces with the three mysterious men. Together, they tracked the wild hunt. Oh, jeez. How am I going to deal with Letho this time, I wonder? Ugh. It's going to be hard it, it, since, you, you know, you still get the same cutscenes. You still found out they were all, like, Witcher bros. All right. Um, the Eternal Battle. Armed with artifacts and some good advice, with his heart in his mouth, Geralt set off to take part in the spectral battle. His resolve to lift the blood curse had never been stronger, for he realized that Cedric's prophecy could be taken literally. Dispersing the mist could restore the witcher's memory. Within the mist, a worthy foe already awaited Geralt. Now listen how Geralt achieved the impossible, how he ended the blood curse and defeated a drog, a creature that never should have set foot in this world. Witchers and poets know well that wraiths be are beings trapped in an illusory reality, forever damned to repeat events from the past. Defeating them is only possible through entering that reality, the only true reality for them. And so Geralt entered the mist as an Adernian soldier, thus declaring for one of the sides. He had to change the course of the battle and that is, defeat the Caitwenny standard bearer and capture the banner he carried. So how did Geralt lift the blood curse and defeat the terrifying leader of the wraiths? Well, he did it like a witcher would. He knew the battle was taking place in a, in a reality born of evil magic. That reality consisted of ghosts of the fallen, and they could be reached only by entering their world. Geralt had to... Uh, change the course of the battle. Okay, it's kind of like getting repetitive here. So he entered the mist as a Cadewini soldier. Didn't it just say that here? He ran uh, to his commander to inform him that the enemy had captured the standard and to warn him about a possible ambush. Oh yeah, that's right. The first time you're an Adurni and then a Cadewini. Right, right, right. Okay. Entering the mist this time, Geralt joined the battle between the race of Adurnian soldiers and those of Cadewini soldiers. The Witcher assumed the all-important role of the heroic Seltkirk, fighting under the sign of the Chevron. Our hero faced a difficult task. He had to fight his way through the battlefield and defeat the Cadwini army's general. Pushing through the battlefield, Geralt spotted a Cadwini general. Defeating the Wraith would disrupt the scenario of the eternal battle, so the Witcher did not hesitate for one moment. Sorceresses took part in the battle. Though regular Cadwini forces won the advantage, the magicians began a sorceress barrage. Fireballs decimated both sides, and Geralt could only gather his unit and lead it out of the battle to the king's position. And that's where it all ended. <laughs> Just had to change the outcome of the battle a little bit. No big deal. What the heck? On the armor of courage. Have no mercy. Oh, what's the going on? The gods be with you. Your deeds will be forgiven. To battle! Oh. Oh, look, this guy's boarding up his house back here. Oh, yeah, everyone's building up fortifications. Bollocks. Oh, gosh, everyone's getting ready to battle. This is crazy. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, this guy's repairing the bridge I right the here. The Kedwani are marching! Uh-oh, the Kedwani... One, two! One, two! And again! Oh gosh, it's like, I don't think they should be wasting their energy on practice at this point. Oh my gosh. It's crazy everyone getting ready for battle. Wow. I hope I've done all the exploring I planned on doing. Huh? Prepare the main gate's defenses. I'll cover the wall. The defense will be so strong, Hensel's stick will go limp. We're here's hoping. <laughs> All right, Zoltan, my... Hello there. Hey, little man. You're quite the general, Zoltan. Yeah, really. Why not call me a bloody marshal? <laughs> Sassy's got it into her head. It's either me or Yarpin. 
We drew straws, and I lost. Oh, bummer. It's good you're up. Henselt will be here any minute. Why? Would he be disappointed not to see me? He'd be bloody depressed. <laughs> Are you ready? Defeating Henselt won't be easy. Eh, no reason to get discouraged. Are you ready, little man? How are preparations to greet our visitors going? Have no fear. We'll give them a taste of what's due to anyone who's as welcome as warts on the arse. <laughs> we'll give them a royal welcome. The dwarves are eager for a scuffle. Just do your part, and Kedwenny heads will fly like fattened horseflies. Nice. The Kedwenny are coming! They multiplied or what? Time to give them a taste of hot oil. There are valves in the cauldron sides. You need to clear them. I'll take the left side, you get the right. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Don't rely on me for stuff. Oh gosh. Activate the mechanism. We're pouring hot oil on on people. Um, don't mind me. I got oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, I'm getting okay, I'm getting oh yikes, I'm getting ass smacked. Okay, I need to actually Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got a little overexcited. Oh gosh, I hope I have a recent save. Oh dear. All right, so part of my problem was my weapons got unequipped. I got a sweet new steel sword, so I really shouldn't complain. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard oh, time. Out. We don't cover them in oil or cover us with them <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm trying. There's like no one up here to help me. Um, I'll make good speed of your arms. Oh my gosh, what is with this dude right here? Like, die already. Okay, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. They just keep coming. Um, all right, there we go. Oh, I gotta keep looking at it. Okay, okay. All right. I got it, I got it. No, this guy started stabbing me. That hot oil was a great idea. Oh. No, they'll see Oh, that's terrible. They fry up Oh, that's an awful way to kill somebody. Deep fry them? No thanks. Yuck. That's terrible. That's just cruel. I don't know if I can agree with that. I mean, it, it gets the job done, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Fall to, to... back behind the second gate! Or they'll kill us to a man! It's death. Fall mode. back. Uh-oh, he's gonna do some sorcerer magic. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh gosh, all right, rejoin Zolta. Oh, okay, so retreat. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. Let's retreat for sure. Yeah, let's let's on the double. I'm out of here. I'm right behind you, little man. Stop what? Oh, I didn't get to. I wasn't. Harg. Uncadarat. Oh, so he's gonna do kind of the same thing Sabrina did and rain down some real evil on Vergen, right? Well, Close the gate! Not quite the same. Yes, sir! Stop farting around! To the walls! Like a shot! Alright, to the At walls. Once brave leader. <laughs> I love Geralt, he's so funny. He's just joining right in as Hold the lines! Oh, Sasha. Show them up how here. dirty and soldiers fight! Show them! Upper air down! Saskia! Oh. Okay, so how do I help? Oh, here we go. Oh, ladders, lovely. Push it off, push it off. Wait, why did it do that again? That was weird. So do I, can I kick this off or something? How come I can't kick this off? That seems like a perfectly, like if I see someone with a ladder, I'm not gonna just like let them climb up here. I'm gonna kick the ladder down. Raise like, your access! yeah, this isn't gonna happen. Like I would, I would, ar can I not? I feel like I should be able to ard the ladder off. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh, where did that guy go? Can I do that again? <laughs> I don't think I can do that again. That was glorious. I, I really sent that guy flying. I really want to do that again. I don't I don't think I can though. I, I really okay, I oh okay, okay, I think uh, come on, let me do it. No, I can't art someone off the side again, it seems. That's a way to ruin my fun video game. Can I do it now? Oh no, that knocked that guy away. Oh, I want to knock people off the side. I still think it's BS that I can't knock this ladder over. I should... Yeah, I totally can't. I really feel like I should be able to. Like, this is silly. Why would I just let these people sit here and come up and swarm us? I wouldn't actually do this. I would kick this ladder down first, second, and third thing I do. I would do. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I guess uh, it, that would be a little too easy, though. Doesn't really make sense, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> 
All right, all right. Uh, fire definitely works. Wow, wow, Carol. Can you calm down with the being a badass? Thanks. This guy just like appeared. I don't even think he climbed up here. I think he materialized up here. You're like right on the edge, guy. Just fall off. <laughs> what a battle here. What's going on over here? Do I need to help out over here? I'm, I'm like, like trying to defend the, the ladder like all by myself here. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get back attacked when we get out of the way here. All right. Why am I like always by myself? Where, like, like, there's one little dwarf over here helping me while I'm getting like mobbed. Like, okay, do I need to go over here and help these guys sort out like the two people that they've been fighting the whole time? Like, y'all are useless as hell. You know that, right? You're supposed to be all like commanders and revered fighters, and you've been literally fighting these same two K20 knights the whole time. I've killed like 20 of them over here. Y'all useless. Y'all are just straight up useless. I'm just saying. I mean, I know a Witcher's supposed to be pretty strong. But this doesn't mean that everyone has to be straight up useless. Like, this girl needs to turn into a dragon or something, like right here, right now. <laughs> not sure if it's worth using my um, adrenaline thingy or not right now. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, I don't think so. There's a lot up here, but nothing we can't manage. These knights are such a pain in the butt to deal with. They take, like, no damage at all. I'm just doing, like, hard attacks here, heavy attacks, whatever. Again, all of this could have been avoided if some moron had bothered kicking this ladder down, but, you know, that would require making sense. Repel those kid wenny rags. They won't give up easily. They'll return if they're thick as bricks. They find bricks falling on their heads. Wait. Another assault is coming! Get ready! So are we throwing the bricks now? The day will be or? ours! <laughs> it must be! Upper air down! Sastya! Um... What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? So, again, still not kicking this down for some reason. Should I use this moment to, like, maybe level up? Let's see, I feel like I need more damage reduction. I, I'm getting more damage reduction. I am just, I am just a little too squishy here. I feel like that's something I really need. Can I save? No. Um, I don't know if I need, like, potions or anything. Oh, there's a second ladder here. I didn't really... Did they just put that- oh, I guess that's why the, the thing played twice, because there's two ladders. Once again, here we are dealing with the same exact problems as before, because no one in any of that time took it upon themselves to push the ladder off the edge. Like, just, just push it off. Just push it off, like I could do it right now. It's like, it's probably not that heavy. Like, I, I'm sure with R, and I'm sure maybe if, if we all got together, why is this guy just standing here? Not that I'm complaining, I'm pretty happy that he's just standing there. Stand, he's standing there all day. Like, this is but I, I'm sure with like all of us that are up here, we could team up and push this ladder, even if it's made out of lead. I'm, I just feel like there's enough of us to really use some teamwork and knock this ladder over, but I don't know. That's just me and my silly hopes and dreams and beliefs and stuff. I have too much faith in people, clearly. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should just uh, let them gather like this so I can just melt them all with big me. I don't know. I feel like I've killed more humans than I've killed monsters in that uh, Dorfus playthrough, that's for sure. Oh gosh, I'm getting back attacked. Alright, I'm gonna go back over here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use this bad boy because there's like a million people up here. So can I just like furiously swing wildly and I'll die eventually? Hmm. I probably should have put it more toward- I probably should have dropped this a bit closer to where the other ladder was. That would have probably been less stupid. Oh, there goes that guy's body. Oh, bummer dude. <laughs> Alright, got all these guys. There's a knight here. And another knight. My god. Alright, well, seeing as we've killed half the K20 army, or actually, since I alone have killed half the K20 army, I feel like the rest of Bergen should be pretty good to go. Like, if you can't handle, like, 30% of the K20 army after all the. after I single handedly wiped out, like, 80% of the K-20 army. Like, if y'all really can't deal with 10% of the K-20 army, I don't know what to tell you guys. Well, it wasn't easy. But seeing those ruffians run was worth the effort. Yeah, uh -huh, effort. They'll be back. They're as stubborn as a dwarven farmer. 
<laughs> but their balls are much smaller. <laughs> okay. I need your help, Witcher. Of course you I'm do. I'm hearing that more often lately. Yeah, really. Seems you're irreplaceable. Listen, tunnels run beneath the town and connect the keep with the dwarven mines. Who knows about them? Almost no one, but I decided to secure them anyway and sent a detachment of scouts. None of them returned. Uh-oh. Uh, we're under siege right now. Is the siege over? Do you want me to deal with this while we're at war? Not good? I'll look in not good. If Hensel discovered the passage, he's got us. A bloody gentle way to put it. If they attack from two sides, we won't hold the fortress. Oh. Now's the perfect time. Hensel's men lick their wounds like flogged bitches. They'll need about an hour to regroup troops and set up formation for another assault. Let's not waste time. I'll come with you. Oh, better give me a few soldiers. Your place is here. Um, nah, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with Bay coming with me. Better give me a few soldiers, too. I'd rather you assigned me an able troop of men. Oh, wait, no. I won't reform ranks now. This formation is effective. If they don't strike suddenly from the mines, we should hold through the siege. You're in charge. Lead on. Oh, sweet. You surprise me more and more. I thought witches stayed out of politics. I'm not interested in politics. Yet you stand on our side. I stand on That's Zoltan's whole army. side. Yarpens. Nobody else. Would you join Maybe them if they, they fought a under a Kedweni banner? Kedwin. No dwarf would fight for Henselt. <laughs> Pretty much exactly what happened. So, okay, she's gonna lead the way here. All right. I love. All right, I love it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know I would be so involved with uh, Saskia. She seemed so, like far removed from everything that Geralt was doing. It's actually surprising to see her running right beside me. This is cool. Her armor looks so neat. She, she's really cool looking. I really like Saskia. It, it, to be fair, they did a pretty good job of making all the ladies pretty nifty looking in this game, I gotta say. You can even see how her armor looks kind of like dragon-like, like the her shoulders. They... I'll take the lead. Stay behind me, Saskia. Ooh. A chivalrous witcher. Another surprise. <laughs> the world's upside down. Yeah, she's got like these, uh, her shoulder pads seem like they're like uh, dragon's wings. She's doing a really bad job of staying behind me. Okay, this probably isn't the best place to, oh, I can't save. I was going to stop here, but I don't think I am going to since I can't save. Onward. This might be a bit of a long one. Sorry. Maybe not. Oh, who are these people? I see. What are they? Mercenaries? I don't recognize what's on the shield there. So, Hensel's not above hiring mercenaries, so could we be Hensel's men? I don't know. I don't think so. All right, Lady Dragon, you see, like, you've got this one to have while I've killed the other three. Does everyone have to be, like, completely, actually useless in this game? Like, you're Saskia the Dragon Slayer. What are you hitting him with, a toothpick? Like, come on, lady. <laughs> All right. Are we going through here? You can, uh, you can open the door for me. Oh, more mercenaries? I don't think they want to talk. Oh, nope, they don't. Not at all. Yikes, do I need potions for this? It's really dark in here. The Igni will light the way pretty well. <laughs> Alright, Saskia. If you manage to even move this guy's health, doesn't look like it. Ah, I thought adventuring with Saskia would be a little bit better. Man. Everyone's useless. <laughs> maybe I'm just too awesome. Maybe that's maybe I've gotta reshape how I think about it. It's not that they're useless, I'm just way awesome. Right? Right? Right. So should I put this up? It my little exclamation mark seems to just stop here, so I don't know. Oh, 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 she's she's wandering. Okay, okay. I thought she wanted to talk or something. Still can't save, bummer. Uh-oh. Oh, critters! Okay. So, alright, I think I need a- I can't see anything. I'm gonna need a cat potion. I'm definitely gonna need a cat potion. This place is too dark. I cannot see anything unless Igni's going, basically. So let me drink a potion real quick, I guess? I don't know if- I don't think- I don't know. Well, I see him. 
exit over? Oh, yeah, those things explode, right? Let me see, is this place going to be much deeper? I don't think it's going to be much deeper. Maybe I'll... Well, well, I don't know. Where's Saskia going? Is she drunk? Why are we going back this way? Uh, so what do you want to do, lady? What are we doing here? My lord, oh. we'll soon reach Bergen. You'll take them by surprise. <gasps> yeah. Vergen is in danger, and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching, and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Wow. Wow. Kill them. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You are scum. All right, I'm just igni party over here. All right, I've got this right here, too. I'm glad I saved it. Kill Death Mold. That's my objective. Let me in on that. I am totally going to do that, and I'm going to feel really good about doing it, too. wonder if I'll get the opportunity to deal with insult as well. Okay, Saskia's fine. She better be fine. She has no choice but to be fine. Oh. Whoa. Wait, what happened? What? Did I... Did I... What? Oh, that's part of the game. Okay. I was like, did I screw it up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's dragon time. It's dragon time. Aw, oh, snap! It's dragon time! It's dra Oh, he's running away! It's dragon time! Oh, shoot! This is cool! Oh, my God! Oh, it's dragon time! Oh, my gosh! This is awesome! I got goosebumps! <laughs> Oh, thanks for the save, babe. Oh, so she can do it at will, basically. Okay, so it's not like a reaction. She can just shapeshift on command. I know a woman is flighty, but to that scale... Oh, come on with the jokes, Geralt. Now you know my greatest secret. <laughs> I had no choice. They would have killed you. Oh my gosh, like, I... Oh gosh, I... I almost wish I hadn't read that during the Roche playthrough that Saskia was, in fact, a dragon because, like, that was a really cool moment knowing it was that she's a dragon, but, oh, it would have been even cooler to know that she wasn't a dragon. <laughs> now I understood how you withstood the toxin. Was it you at the siege of the Lava Light Castle? Anyone else know the truth? I'm thinking the sorceresses know. Um... I really want to ask her this. Was it you at the siege of La Valette? Oh, I really want to ask her that. I, I know the answer, but I also really want to know, ask her this. Oh, which one do I pick? I really want to ask her both. Um, okay, well, this is the more important one. Anyone else? Because I at least know that was her. I can tell from the, the dream, right? I don't know. Well, okay, so does anyone else know the truth? Does anyone else know? Death mold. Oh, uh, well. I meant allies. Yorveth? Yorveth invented the whole Dragon Slayer story. He believes Eden needs someone like me, and someone like me needs a legend. He was right. Okay, so. How are you able to be a dragon, though? I feel like I don't under. Okay, okay, so I can ask her everything. Okay, so was it you at Lavalette? A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Oh. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Vergen could have used someone like him. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, to change the subject, now I understand how you withstood the toxin. Now I understand how you could combat such a powerful toxin. Philippa is a great sorceress. Even she couldn't have saved you if you were human. You're a witcher, so you know a lot about us. Only golden dragons have the power to assume any ah. form. My father was a knight with bright eyes. He treated life like a beautiful adventure. He loved humans and tried to understand them. Thanks to him, I believe every man is equal and liberty shouldn't be peddled. Wow. Father claimed the world to be filled with chaos and order. Chaos equals aggression. Order is the defense against it. What happened to him? He taught me to live among humans and moved on. Dragons do that. Really? 
So, Papa Dragon is still out there somewhere, is that right? Okay, so dragon, golden dragons specifically can turn into humans and live among them. That's so cool. Well, now I understand because, see, I thought her ability to be a dragon was um, some kind of, like, sorceress witchery or something, but even that wouldn't really make sense, so I'm glad I understand now. This is wonderful, man. Like, I'm really liking the Yorvith uh, route, and honestly, I kind of wish I picked it first. I probably would have if I'd known how little <laughs> Yorvith actually seems to be involved, because I, I, I do like helping out the non-humans, and Saskia is so cool. I love it. So, uh, even Hinsult can't defeat an army supported by a dragon. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Hinsult wouldn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. I thought about that. But what would happen to Epa Edern when the death settles? They'd renounce you? That's not something you can foresee. Yeah, to be true, uh, that's not really something you can foresee now, is it? You can't foresee everything. You know how the world treats freaks as well as I do. Sure enough. But if Vergen falls, your ideals will be vanquished. Maybe averting that is worth the sacrifice. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. Mm. That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. I understand. And we will. Also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you. That was so cool. Okay, so can I talk to her anymore? Isleheart has helped us immensely. Uh, she, yeah, 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 Isleheart. Okay, man, what a cool moment. I I guess she really is in a really difficult position. Ooh, catacomb key. I guess she really is in a very difficult position, so she can't just reveal herself because, you know, like she says, all of the races that are allied right now, that'll just all fall the hell apart. And, you know, that's exactly what would happen. She's She is pretty much right on the nose about that one. Oh boy, well this has been a lot of fun. What a cool reveal. I love it. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm going to go finish up chapter 2 next time. Um, I need to return to the walls and defend Vergen. Let's read about this real quick. Let's see. Alright, um, let's see. Gosh, where did it, where does it start? Okay, um... I, I, I don't know where I've read to. Okay, I guess let's start here. Um, yeah, Zoltan Chevet awaited him at the gate. Let me start here. <laughs> and so the assault began. The very first wave of attackers could destroy the barricade and break through into Vergen proper. To weaken their resolve, Geralt and Zoltan decided to activate an old dwarven mechanism and pour boiling oil on the attackers. Zoltan ran for the cauldrons on the left and Geralt hastened to the lever on the right side of the walls. Which, uh, pretty cruel way to kill people, but when you're trying to defend your home, all bets are off, right? With the skill of a consummate engineer, the Witcher activated the mechanism on the walls, and boiling oil rained down on the enemy. This would not stop the Cadewinnies completely, but it did thin their numbers and weaken their resolve. The deed done, Geralt raced back to the defenders. Zoltan was waiting for him near the gate. If only conventional weapons were used during the battle, the attackers would be in for it. But there was a sorcerer on their side. Deathmold blasted the barricade to bits with his spells. The Cadewinnie attacked and the Adernians had to retreat. And I'm sure it was a slaughter behind me, but I was too busy running away. In a bold move, Henselt's soldiers attacked the walls. Geralt was in the first line to repel them. The Witcher didn't have a moment for respite. A second assault came after the first one, and he had to stand firm on his station once more. 
Hinsoth has been slapped on the wrist and was licking his wounds. However, that which could not be taken directly could be taken using guile. A secret passage was leading to Vergen and Saskia was afraid the enemy might find it. Geralt ran to check out the underground corridor, which, just like Saskia predicted, they thought that someone would use it as a back door. Creepy. Accompanied by Saskia, Geralt descended into the secret tunnels of the Founders. The defenders suspected that the enemy could use the corridors to launch a treacherous attack from behind. Yep, their suspicions proved correct, yep, for the ex uh, the expedition first encountered Cadewini soldiers and then Deathmold himself, led by a Vergeni traitor. Geralt could not let this opportunity pass and lunged at the sorcerer, sor sorcerer sword in hand. I was about to say, yeah, I, I think that was a, a, Vir a Virginia guy because his name was like uh, Aldersburg or something. I, 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 I think I have to maybe look through the, the characters. I don't remember if um, I met him or not, but I'm pretty sure that that was a, a yeah, that was a, a Virgin guy. All right, back to this. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, whoops, that's a different... Whoa, I got way away from where I was reading. I was on the last paragraph here. All right. Um, and then Death Mold himself, I led by a Virginia traitor. Geralt could not let this opportunity pass and lunged at the sorcerer, sword in hand. Yet Death Mold was no fool and would not stand by idly to be sliced by the witcher's blade. He fell back to his safe position and attacked Geralt with a spell so malignant that our hero's vision grew dark. Defeated, the witcher fell to the ground. The, so that's what happened. That was total BS, by the way. The dwarven corridors would have been his grave if not for Saskia. The d yeah, Geralt always dies to the lamest stuff. Pitchforks, sorcerer powder... <laughs> The dragon slayer shapeshifted, transforming into a dragon, and lunged at Deathmold, causing him to flee. Thus, the Witcher learned Saskia's secret. Suddenly, the many vague elements of her story began to make sense. It was clear it had been made up from the start. The dragon slayer, being a dragon herself, had used the story to shape her image as a fighter for a free Pontar Valley and to hide from humans for her uh, rather inconvenient true form. The witcher, who had miraculously survived, had little time to analyze matters in detail. He had to return to the walls and save Virgin, which I suppose I should go do now. I've gotten really bad behind on reading about my characters. I should maybe do that. Just for now, I will read Saskia's just to see if it's going to be a little bit different. Nothing drives a revolt forward like the right leader, especially one who is a young girl known for performing miraculous feats of valor on the battlefield. From the from Joan of the Ark Coast <laughs> to the infamous Falca, history is full of women who led fanatically devoted hosts to history. Interestingly, all those heroines were not only charismatic, but also extremely beautiful. The squint-eyed, ga gap-toothed, and pockmarked generally have trouble rousing the masses. And that always the case. <laughs> Saskia, whom men would follow into a fire, was no exception. She was a smooth-skinned lass with blonde hair, dark brows, large eyes, and shapely lips. Her full breasts perfectly complemented her rounded hips. In other words, she was the ideal icon for a rebellion. So when dragons transform, do they get to kind of pick how they look, or is that just how she looks? <laughs> for, dear reader, if a man in battle receives the appropriate motivation in the form of a lovely female arse, he is likely to achieve miracles in its wake. It's true. When there is no such arse to lead the way, the freedom fighter's thoughts quickly turn to harvest time, his own woman, and a half pint of booze at the end. News had already reached us of the heroic Saskia, the woman who held Cadwen's armies at bay. At the time, however, it all seemed like little more than exaggerated rumors. As with any true hero, 
There were many incredible tales about Saskia. Some claimed she was invulnerable to fire and thus survived that terrible battle when Sabrina had rained the very flames of hell down upon the combatants. The girl was also famous for killing a dragon. Go ahead and scratch that out for being a dragon. One would be hard pressed to find better material for a local hero. Even Yorvith grew doe-eyed when he gazed at her. This was especially puzzling because Scoia'tael are generally unmoved by human women, even those who are thought to be extremely beautiful. Word of Saskia's deeds had traveled far beyond Adern's borders. She was a heroine in the eyes of many. What surprised me most was that she had made an impression on Yorvith, who had high hopes for her. Once Geralt discovered the whole truth about Saskia, all the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. Saskia, Saskia a high-bred dragon, hybrid, hybrid, okay, could assume any form she desired. Even that of a human. Oh. So she could turn into a platypus if she wanted to, because she says any form. So if it's any form, she could have been male, right? Or she could have been like an ugly lady, but she decided to be mega babe. Oh, she's running out. Okay, okay. I, I need you to calm down, Saskia. I'm, I'm going to be over here. And we're going to run out of here next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play The Witcher 2 today. Vergen is under attack. I feel like I'm going to finish up this chapter and head into Loch Muin next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play The Witcher 2. I'll see you with another video soon. Bye for now.